Welcome back. We are working on the bug today and we are putting a stop on this project in the form of disc brakes. Yay! Uh, when I purchased the front I-beam, I could only find one that had disc brake spindles on it. So it was a real good time to upgrade. So I shopped around from multiple suppliers and bought everything as inexpensively as I could. I found rotors for $9.94 each, plus tax and shipping. I got calipers on eBay, 85 bucks for the pair with free delivery, loaded, pads, pins, everything ready to throw on. Brake hoses were like 12 bucks, and backing plates, 13 bucks. Uh, disc brake, master cylinder for 35 bucks. So we're getting this done at a real good price. I did a dry run before I packed the wheel bearings to make sure everything was going to work well together because I bought everything from uh, multiple uh, different suppliers. Uh, I needed to figure out what hardware to use because I had absolutely none. So I did fitting, testing, and now I got to a point where I could take it back apart, put it back together one final time. The caliper bolts I will use are uh, 10 millimeter by 1.50 by 30 millimeters long. I wanted them long enough so they'd be sticking out. I'll say that a lock washer on there, but not too long that they would be hitting the inside of the rotor. And any shorter than that, they wouldn't have a lot of thread penetration on the spindle itself so that was a good choice okay parts we're going to be reusing are dust caps spindle nuts the washers yes i'm even reusing the bearings i took these apart cleaned them they're timkin bearings they're in really good shape this one even says made in the usa so i guess at one point they were swapped out in the car so there's no sense in spending money on something that is still good and I dug up a set of seals I had lying around. So we're going to repack these and put them back in. The dust shields are the same left and right. It's only one part number. And I'm using 7 millimeter by 1.0 by 20 millimeter bolts with some uh, lock washers thrown on them. Holes are nice and lined up. All right, the rotors I got were listed for a 76 bug, and I went back and checked the wheel bearings from the 74 with drum brakes are the same. So these did not come with races. I had to knock the, uh, the races out of the original drums, and we're gonna install them in here. I got this little handy tool to make the job easy. If you don't have this, you could just use something that fits a socket that'll fit inside the diameter to drive it in. We gotta pack wheel bearings. Nice messy job. Obviously we'll do the big ones first. Get the grease to come all the way out. And we'll do a little one for demonstration purposes. some grease into the rotors. Put in our bearings. Come here, give me a hug. Your seals.
Nice tight fit. Okay, let's go on. Gotta get a little grease on the seal. This is a left-handed nut. You know what a left-handed nut is? My neighbor. Calipers. temporarily. I want to see if this hose is going to be right. Don't cross thread, you idiot. Let's do some wheel turning. See. also hanging down, it's no weight on the car. Let's throw a clip in there for the hell of it. That's a long way from there, but let's just see what we got. Plug lock, okay. Okay, we got disc brakes. Just repeat everything on the other side. Before I throw the speedo cable in, I'm gonna hook a drill up to this and I wanna see if it's still working. My fingers aren't fast enough. All right, it works. How fast can we go? Take this baby up to 80. There we go. Probably never went that fast. Okay, speedo cable can go back in. Put a little grease on here. The dust cap could go on, and I already know a potential problem here. It is a little bit loose. So, I'm going to give it, and I'm missing the clip. I'm going to give it a little massage, bang it in a little bit. Quick squeeze in the vise and a few wax with a punch, and we will get this tight. Need to 
dig up a little clip. Found a generic little snap ring. Let's see if it'll work. Eh, a little small. We'll make it fit. Give it a squeeze. Maybe too much of a squeeze. Let's see if that goes. Look, the calipers match the outside of the car now. I am leaving the brake hose off for now. I'm going to start on the rear brakes next time and work our way back up to the master cylinder. The wheels on the bug go round and round. Thanks for watching.